G'day my friends, how are you all going today? I hope you're all doing well on your side of the planet. Pete's doing perfect back here. Hey, what I'm on about today, guys, is I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the difference between Pilot Arc Machine and a Scratch Start Machine. Now, a lot of you newbies don't know the difference, so Pete's here to show you what you need to buy if you want to get into plasma cutting. If you're sick of using one of these guys, check out plasma cutting. You'll never go back. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, my friends. So what we have here, guys, is just the standard scratch start plasma cutter machine. Really, really cheap, about 200 bucks, 210 bucks, and it's running a PT31 torch. Scratch start means, of course, that you have to scratch it along whatever you're trying to cut before the thing will actually start cutting. So let's turn it on, guys, and I'll show you how it goes. Here we go. We've got it started up. You hear the fan starting. We've got it running at 55 amps, which is the maximum. So we've got our torch all connected up. We've just got our main lead here, our off-on switch here, and our earth lead here. Plug some air in the back of it, and we're all set to cut. Yeehaw! And what we'll do guys is we'll put this pilot arc machine to one side so we've got some room to do some cutting and get rid of this and here's our scratch start machine here like i say it's just a really cheap machine i think it was a couple hundred dollars not the best thing in the world but you know if you're still using a grinder this is probably going to be a lot better than a grinder but anyway on today's video guys i just want to show you the difference between a scratch start and a pilot arc placement cutter when they first started bringing these plasma cutters out, there was a quite a big difference in the price between a scratch start and a pilot arc. But these days it's only about 20 or $30. So really, you really want to buy a pilot arc. But if you don't want to cut up rusty steel or anything like that, then something like this is perfectly fine as well. So my friends, whether it's pilot arc or scratch start, you're going to have basically the same setup here. You're going to have your earth, you're going to have your on off switch here, the cable for your on off switch, and you're gonna have your main ear and power lead screwing in here. Now the only difference is, if it's pilot arc, it's gonna have one more thing here, and it's gonna have a connector that you can just clip one extra wire onto, and that's the pilot arc wire. Anyway, stop waffling, Pete, and let's cut something up with the scratch start machine. So guys, I just found this piece of old plate. It's about five millimeters thick. So let's see if the scratch start machine can whack through that, guys. So guys, no matter what version of machine you're using, remember to put your earth clamp as close to possible to whatever you're trying to cut, because that way it gives you the maximum power to your torch head. Right, so let's see if we can just whack through this, guys. And this is scratch start. Now, scratch start means when I pull the trigger, nothing happens. Just, you hear the air come out like that. There's actually no flame coming out of the torch. Hence the name scratch start or non-pilot arc machine. They call them all sorts of different things, but basically what it means is that you have to touch the tip on whatever you're cutting. And you may also notice on this torch, compared to the other torch, and I'll show you in a minute, the other torch has got what they call a standoff guide on it, which is a guide that holds the cutter tip about half a millimeter off whatever you're trying to cut and that's because it works on a different system it actually doesn't need to touch the steel before it starts cutting anyway stop waffling pete and get on with it yeah right well it cut nothing 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 right now let's touch the metal here we go Let me grab a glove of Mundo and we shall see what the cut was like, guys. Here we are, guys. See that? Yo, 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 yo. Beautiful cut. Really cheap machine. Scratch start. We scratched it and it started cutting. Yeah. But you might be saying to yourself, guys, well, what's the difference? Why do I need another sort of machine? Well, I'll show you. Right, so this is about the same thickness as this, guys. Difference is, this is new steel. Well, it's got a little bit of rust on top, but not a lot to mention. Whereas this one is covered in paint. So, if we try and use a scratch start on the paint, what's going to happen? Once again, guys, we just put the earth lead on as close to whatever we're cutting. So we've got everything set up exactly the same. You know how quick it was to cut through this piece. So, guys, let's see if it'll work. See, it won't start, guys. It just won't, see that? It just won't fire up. I'm doing exactly the same as what we were before with this piece of metal here, but this one just won't start. And the reason it won't start is 
because a scratch start needs to have a clean surface to start cutting. Now if I want to start cutting this, all I have to do, like if I have my grinder there, just start the grinder and just grind a little piece off it, or I might be able to just do it with a piece of steel. Let's have a look. So I've got an off cut of steel here guys. So if I just scratch this a little bit, and you'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. So when I scratch it like that, all I'm trying to do is get a little bit better contact with the metal. Now let's give it a go. Yeah! You notice once I make an initial cut, I can start cutting right through the paint because what it does is it just burns straight through it after that. It's just the first initiation of your torch just won't work if you're on really heavy rusted steel, muddy steel, dirty steel, painted steel. That's a disadvantage with a scratch start plasma cutter guys. Anyway, let's finish this. See that there my friends, it's actually burnt the paint off as we're going. So what I've done is when we first started, I scratched it, got it going, and then as we're going along, it's burning itself clean. So my friends, remember what I said to you that these are basically the same machine. The only difference is that there's one extra wire. Here's the extra wire here guys, if you can see this here, this wire here is for the pilot arc. That's the only difference, otherwise we have an earth, an earth, a main power lead, a main power lead, a on off switch, an on off switch, the only difference is pilot arc wire here, see it says there guys, pilot arc, now if you're looking for a machine and just be careful because sometimes they say they're pilot arc and they're really not, so just look for the extra wire like this and if you see the extra wire it could be green, it could be yellow, even red, then you know it's a pilot arc machine. Also another hint for you guys is if it's a pilot arc machine it'll have a spacer on it like this like I said before and what the spacer does is it just holds it off your work that you're cutting about half a millimeter. So instead of this one having to touch the steel when we're cutting it we have a spark that flies from the end of the cutting nozzle here to whatever you're cutting and that spark just keeps going so in other words the flame starts before we touch the steel. Here, I'll show you. So if we turn this machine on, my friends. <laughs> Once again, 51 amp. We're running on 240 volt here, but it doesn't matter if you're on 120 or you're on 240, it's not gonna make any difference. We've got it all set up. We need to put our pilot arc wire in, like so. Just goes on like that. We're already to start cutting. Now you watch this. If I pull the trigger on this, remember the last one, all we got was air coming out of it. Now look what happens. Now what I've also seen on line guys, is a lot of people buy these plasma cutters here, the scratch start ones, and because they don't see a flame when they pull the trigger, they think the machine's broken and they send it back. I would have done that as well before I knew anything about it, because you pull the trigger you expect to see a flame, but it just depends on what sort of machine you got guys. So with the pilot arc, this will cut through anything basically, anything metal, it doesn't matter if it's covered in dirt, grease, doesn't make any difference whatsoever, paint, anything it'll just cut straight through it you don't have to clean a bit off like if you're on your farm on your ranch or something and you're underneath your tractor and it's covered in crap and you can't clean it out and you just can't do it this thing will blow through it whereas the other scratch start one you're going to have to have a clean piece of steel to get yourself started so if we start with the painted bit again guys and we'll try and cut through this sticker again and i'll show you the difference once again put your earth as close as what you can for whatever you're cutting because I learned that the hard way, you lose a lot of power. If you've got the earth a long way away from what you're cutting, you lose heaps and heaps of grunt. So get it as close as you can, guys. Like so. And then if we start on the sticker like we couldn't do before, let's have a go. Can you see the difference? Awesome, eh? <laughs> I think it is anyway. And like the difference in price between a scratch start and a pilot art machine is only about 20 or 30 bucks these days. So why would you bother buying a scratch start machine? So let's try something even more disgusting, guys. See this here? This has been out in my backyard for God knows how long. It is totally covered in crap and window. It's covered in rust, old paint. Now there's no way that a scratch start plasma cutter is going to start cutting that without you having to clear off a bit with a grinder first. So let's see what the pilot art does. Hee <laughs> hee! Get rid of that one! Ooh, I hope I have somewhere to clamp the scores. 
That one is not too ugly. Actually, I'll hold it there, guys, so you can see me cut through here. Just move that machine out of the way a little bit so I don't cut that in half. Now, let's see if we can cut through all this crap. Yo, hot, hot, hot. See that, guys? Covered in crap of windows, cuts it a piece of cake. Now, guys, I hope you understand the difference. You wouldn't think it'd make any difference. It makes a huge difference, my friends. Trust me. Oh, I like cutting that, so let's cut another hunk of that off, eh? <laughs> cut it down that way, Pete. You see all this oil and crud and all sorts of rubbish in here? Let's try and cut that. No wonder I couldn't cut it off, guys, it goes around the other way. We can fix that. We have the technology. <laughs> That's why I love plasma cutting, guys. See that, my friends? Not only did we cut it that way, we cut it off the other way as well. Give me pilot arc any day. So my friends, hope you learned something new about plasma cutting today between a scratch start and a pilot arc machine. Anyway guys, if you found my video informative and you'd like to subscribe, I'd sure appreciate that. Remember to comment in the comments below and we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.